And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Varmithrax, and today we're going to be starting a brand new game for my channel. It is Stellaris by Paradox Interactive. Uh, you've probably heard about it. It's been around for a little while now, and uh, I had played it, oh, maybe 10 or 12 hours back a year or so ago. Uh, I got heavily distracted by some other games and uh, kind of set it aside and was waiting on various DLC and updates and they just kept changing the game and uh, finally with the 2.2 release today in the Megacorp expansion I decided it was time to get back in, dig in, and see just what this game's all about and how much fun I can have. So that's what we're going to do. So I do have the Megacorp and the other two large DLCs installed. I don't have the other minor ones. Um, we probably won't experience much of that content here in this first stream. This is very much going to be me learning how to play Stellaris. So if you're looking for advanced gameplay tips, strategies, strategies or advice, move right along. This isn't going to be it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of reading of tool tips, figuring out buttons and systems, and making lots of bad decisions. So, if you're interested in watching that, welcome! Let's have some fun! So, here we go. Stellaris. We're just going to go new game. I am just going to go real bare bones default type stuff. So we're going to go with United Nations of Earth. Um, I know generally what some of this stuff does, but not enough to really educate anybody on it. So I'm just going to leave all this alone. I'm not going to edit or do any kind of changes. And I have modded this slightly. Uh, I can't remember what settings I used last time. Uh, medium, spirals, fine, fine. I turned advanced AI off. Uh, Marauder Empire's off. I've got tech tradition costs set pretty fast because I wanted to actually learn the game. Um, let's set it at 0.5 instead. Um, I think the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Difficulty... What's what's the bottom? Ensign? Cadet? No, we don't want Cadet. <laughs> we'll go with Captain. Um, scaling difficulty? No thanks for this first one. Alright, I think that's pretty much what I want to set right there. We'll definitely be moving this stuff up as I get more familiar with the game. Alright, see what kind of gen we get. Since this is a new game to my channel, make sure to let me know if there's any problems with the uh, sound balance, talking head placement, any of that kind of stuff. Good day, Madam President. Sounds... I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. Yeah, that sounds loud. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. All right, let's let's seek our volume settings among the stars. Uh, let's go down with the master, and I think that might have fixed the little bit heavy on the music side. All right, I get distracted, and uh, the sound balance seems out of whack. Just yell at me in chat there, and I'll make some adjustments. Okay, so I am playing with the uh, tutorial on because I need to refresh decision. my memory. You will have my full support. That still seems Building a, a star loud. empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover uh, the basic that's... steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. All right, that sounds better. Okay, situation log updated. That I know about. All right, so welcome to Stellaris. So, see if I remember the keys here. Uh, we are right on the northern edge, kind of in the middle of the spiral there. Um, kind of a rough looking setup for trying to find uh, choke points. Not too bad, I guess. Two on this side, and I... Do these mean dead ends, or are these going to have connections I can't see yet? I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when I start scouting. Because I can see that one way out there. Sure would be nice if I had this whole group all to myself, except for that one spot there and uh, these spots. That'd be awesome. Uh, we'll find out. So, zoom back in here. Alright, so I never played the original non-2.2 version much, so I'm not having to relearn anything in regards to uh, this. Is our home this. And the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. All right, so I have watched some of the uh, videos some of the other streamers have provided regarding this setup. I understand the basics on districts uh, and the uh, buildings and the pops Here and so we on. A breakdown of this planet's population. How to get it to balance Divided and uh, do what structure. I want will take me a little bit of time, but uh, I understand basics of where things are at for that. 
Uh, so I know all that. We're fine there. Back out of there again. I think every one of the Earth ones has the Great Pacific Garden garbage patch. Um, but yeah, so I understand all of this. Is Earth randomized? In, I think Earth is randomized in regard to these every time, though. I think some of this other stuff must be random. I'll find out as I play the game more as well. Alright, let's cancel out of there for a second. Uh, so we're in. Uh, I know the resource list. Uh, I'm going to try to do as much as I can with this particular playthrough. I think this today's episode might be a one-off. Uh, depending on where we're at when I finish the evening, I might continue it further or I might ditch it because this is very much a learning game, so I'll be uh, making plenty of mistakes on this one. Uh, hopefully I get up to speed pretty quickly, though, and uh, we can do some more interesting race combos and challenge uh, difficulty levels and all that kind of stuff. All right. Who we got sneaking in on me over there? Either Melody, Tempok, hold your fire. And a Kalis? Was that a Kalis this? Can't read your name, it's so dark <laughs> against the background. Alright. I like the ideas behind the planet screen, and I understand some of the reasoning behind it, and especially the underpinning economy changes they had to make in order to really, really give a lot more control uh, and variability for future DLC and for modders. So I think once people get over the initial learning curve for it, hopefully it'll be a, a really good change to the game. All right. <laughs> declare ever a war on everyone. All right, I'll declare war on everyone. Point. Point to everyone for me. Where Where is everyone? <laughs> is there a just I am hostile to the galaxy button I can press? <laughs> I haven't found anyone yet. We're still at uh, day one, minute one. All right. So back into here. I know I've got uh, what one construction, one science ship, and a small fleet of three corvettes. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the buttons. Fleet manager. I don't plan on doing much in the way of uh, fleet design or ship design on this first one. So set up patrols, move, return. All right. I'm just basically working my way through some of the early game tutorial blurbs. All right. Don't care about that this one. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. Got it. I remember oh, survey our ships. Construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. All right. That got through those screens. The government screen presents us with information regarding our empire and its government. Here we can. All right, don't need that. Skill level. What do we got? A warlike champion of the people. All right. Idealistic. Unity bonus. The demographics tab tracks the makeup and spread of our empire's populace. All right. Don't care. Ah, advisor voice. Um. Hmm. Now nah, we'll leave it on the default for now. All right. So energy credits, minerals, food. I understand consumer goods, alloys made from minerals by workers. Influence and unity are about the same. Research combined on one spot. All right. We'll work on the rest of that later. Uh, this is new, so just a different pop out looks like for access. Okay. Uh, let's do our technology while we're here. Is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Yeah, the tutorial has been updated for the 2.2 changes, so I, I don't know the original tutorial well enough. It was a year ago when I probably clicked through it, but uh, it has been updated with the new information. All right, so we got a resilient, so he's not going to make a difference. So research bonus, complexes, do the research bonus. Another resilient. Um, I like extra unity early. Let's go with the unity and void craft. We do have a void craft, strike craft, hangar bay, or more research. I'm going to go for the research regardless. 
All right, so we got research going. Let's get our science ship moving here. Pop out to this screen. Um, I think the first science ship I'm going to send around this loop. So let's go here. Survey. Survey. And then I'll decide when we get there whether to go that way or this way. Uh, construction ship. I want you to go get me construction ship. Get that mining station going. And this is our shipyard. Star base. These upgradable stations mark star system ownership and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships. All right, so I know one of the changes from our the previous version is that all ships are made in the star base now. They're, none of them are made on the planets. So what, the shipyard? Yeah, so we've got science ships, colony ships, and construction ships here instead of on the planet now. I want another, I've got a hundred alloy. Give me another science ship. I think that's really all I can do right now. Uh, so not worried about that. We've got the research going. I guess I'll just wait for it to tell me what to do next. Alright, normal speed while I check chat. Yeah, I've done... I, the vast distances that separate star systems. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. <laughs> I've watched videos uh, recently of uh, the 2.2 changes and just enough to refresh my memory from a year ago. And I've played tons and tons of these types of games, so... Uh, plus, I set my camera system and all that up, so I had to kind of jump in and just fiddle around a little bit. So I'm I'm familiar with the really, really basics of the game, but here in just a very, very short bit, it's going to be all new unexplored territory for me. All right, so while those ships are moving out, let me catch up with Chad here. Do-do-do. Yeah, Melody, I'm going to have fun with Stellar. So, for anybody that hasn't heard, I've added... I'm changing my channel lineup a bit and how I do things. And uh, I'm basically going to focus on Cataclysm, like I have been for quite a while now. As well as... Uh, Construction complete. Alright. <laughs> Construction is complete. Uh, so, Cataclysm, Stellaris, and Rimworld are going to be regular players on my channel now. So, they're going to get... Uh, slotted into specific days each week so you'll know when to turn in for, or tune in for each game and then uh the other games that i like to throw in i'll uh sprinkle in as time and uh, interest allows um in between but uh, those three are going to be pretty major content on my channel for the next few months probably do do <laughs> what one extra corvette just one <laughs> Um, yeah, I looked at the uh, galaxy map. So, what I didn't know was, uh, I guess there's not a star lane connection here, so I think I might have a really nice little pocket area here. I see one lane going out there. And then I've got this connection here, and that looks to be it. Otherwise, construction complete. Not sure I like that voice. Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. <laughs> All right. So situation log updated. Uh... How do I get that situation? The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New. All right, so consumer goods production. Uh, President Dolores Mwanga was elected on a platform of bringing a, our monthly consumer goods surplus up to at least plus six per month. Uh, six months worth of unity, max 1,000. All right, so I need to focus on... Up to at least plus six per month, and we're at plus ten per month. Am I not understanding that? Mandate fulfilled? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Survey system is going on right now, and build a research station. We'll be able to do that here pretty quick. So, we'll get back to those. I have important information for you. 
The victory screen lists certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill to ensure... Alright, don't care about any of that. So, potentially habitable, Barnard Star 2, Tomb World, 25 size. That seems pretty big. Habitability is terrible. Alright. I guess they mean six more per month, but I that would be pretty confusing to try to keep track of or remember. How can I just look at it and know whether I've met it or not? I'm assuming I'm going to need to uh, do... So, consumer goods is going to take, what, a building, I believe? Because these are energy, uh, minerals, and food. These are going to be the jobs producers that usually are convert the pops to uh, the other resource types. Yeah, luxury goods. Building civilian industries builds a surface of colonized planets, buying more on the market. Right. All right. Uh, so I can build something. Do I have the points for the autothone? I don't. 200, 200 uh, mineral. Uh, actually, I'm curious. Where is the where's the market? Via the market screen, we can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market, but if enough empires establish contact, I expect they might form some sort of galactic market. All right, resources can be bought and sold using the appropriate buttons here. Be aware that buying or selling a resource will raise or lower the price of that resource, respectively. Monthly automatic trade deals can also be set. All right, so that I understand. So if I wanted that, I could buy it 100 for 130. We'll hold off on that for the moment. I just wanted to make sure I knew where it was at. Um, all right, let's hold off on that. So, what does it cost to make another another Corvette anyway? Ninety-eight. It's going to be a little while before I've got the alloys for that. All right. Kick the speed up. All we're really doing is researching right now. Um, actually, my construction was complete, wasn't it? So, you get over here. I'm not too impressed so far. A couple of minor energy producers. Well done. The first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Now that we have begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. A star base can be built around stars in surveyed systems to expand our borders, allowing us to claim new regions of space. All right. This doesn't seem like a good place we to do it. We have a brand but... new science ship but no scientist has been assigned to command it. Okay, a couple things to do here. So, got that done. System surveyed. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Okay, what do we go for? Uh, exploration? Or, I mean, expansion? Thinking of expansion or discovery. I'm hoping I'm alone in this little pocket area. So, star base influence, new colonies, one extra pop, admin cap, star base upkeep, and growth speed. Research alternatives increased by one, and scientist level cap by two. Um. Go with expansion first. All right, so you need the a leader. The tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. 
All right, so everybody's busy. Manding, researching, researching, researching. Uh, barely have enough for one more. Lifespan, research speed, research speed. Alright, so we got our next science ship. That one is going to go out this way first. Good. The scientist has assumed command of our new science ship and can now be sent off at our leisure to explore new systems and or meet some grisly fate. All right, busy, busy, not busy, and I actually have some materials. Anything left? Yeah, we still have. I'm here, you. All right, that'll finish up our building in Sol system. Uh oh. Dawkan 2B. It becomes quite clear we have found something out of the ordinary. Composition and history provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunity to gather. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Uh, a planet modifier appears. All right. That was... Policy markets. Isn't there a... Uh... Isn't there like an events thing where I can look at... No, not that. Not contacts. In the contacts screen, we see a detailed list of all the various empires we have... Maybe there isn't one. Hmm. All right. Anomalous readings detected. All right, it's routine. Some kind of unknown structures are floating in this gas giant's upper atmosphere. They appear to be using aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. Um, surveying. Yeah, go ahead and research it. So this is the one that got some kind of a bonus. Hey there, moose clapping. Um. Can't click on anything yet. I guess it's not fully. Fully researched yet? Ah, there it is. Alright. Oh, that's right. So I have to do that first. Okay. Got it. <laughs> we have the ability to manually design new ships in the ship designer screen. This is a fairly straightforward process, though one that can be fully automated if we so wish. Our new research station is online, and its science staff have begun their work. What secrets will they uncover? What forbidden mysteries of creation? Social experiment. Uh, all right, so that's the aerostat colony. Um, Self-sufficient remains from several different species were found. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. We have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limited databanks. So, society research gained. So, I gained 118 society research points. Uh, yeah, right there. Cool. Cool. All right, those are busy. He's busy. Uh... Hey, Catherine, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Where did the... Um... I just want to go look at the ship designer real quick. So, Corvette, Autobest, Defense Platform, Auto Generate. All right. Cool. I'm not going to worry too much about this right now. Takes uh, control over upgrading and changing the ships. 
I can't do it now. Why? Because <laughs> there aren't any upgrades? All right, back to it. So, we're still I can't starting. help but notice that our navy is a bit on the weak side. <laughs> we are certain to face many threats in the galaxy that will require some form of military response. Remember, the survival of our civilization is at stake. All right, got it. Uh, weeks after the UNS Aldrin's latest fruitful exploratory survey, human xenologists are practically falling over themselves to publish their takes on the findings on Dawkon 2. This fevered storm in the scientific community has had some negative yet temporary impact on the pursuits in other fields. All right. So, let's go to the shipyard. Uh, let's get one more Corvette. Let's get two more Corvettes. System resources analyzed. Construction finalized. Ah, right, so what do we want first? Uh, influence cost. I'm going to go for the one additional pop. Hopefully we get a colony out pretty soon if we find a habitable planet. Uh, I wanted to look at Earth. Oops. Earth. And... All right, this is what I'm looking for. So growth progress, 69 of 100, plus 3 per month. So, well, we need 31, so just over 10 more months. So not quite a year will grow. We've got housing available, no unemployment. Yeah, yeah, no unemployment, housing available. All right, I want the Autothone Monument next. Give me the... Uh, so let's see, upkeep, one energy, culture worker jobs, plus two. Culture workers turn consumer goods into unity and society research. Um, unity I want. I don't want to... So this is going to be it. We're at 24. We're going to get another one at 25. So as soon as... Yeah, as soon as we, in 10 months, we'll unlock this one as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get the auto zone. All right, keep pumping up that unity. Busy, busy. All right. Anomalous readings detected. Uh, challenging. No, we're going to leave that be for now. Thanks. Uh, don't care. Research station's done, and fully surveyed. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with these two. <laughs> Four energy, two energy, and two... Uh, which kind is that? I forget. Physics. All right, they're going to move on. Uh, Dawkan, I've got a similar problem. So he's moving on to finish the survey. All right, I'm gonna hold the hold the construction ship for now. I'm actually thinking about. Nah, better not. Construction complete. All right, so we got five Corvettes now. We're gonna just be happy with that number for a bit. System resources analyzed. Wow. That's it. Six energy. I want something good. Here or here, please. Construction finalized. Planetary features on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their exploitation. Clearing a blocked feature takes time and costs minerals or energy credits, but the free space often makes it worthwhile. Uh, that's right. I need to look at... Uh... No, not that one. So, waiting for a decent system to put up a star base. 
Oh, they want me to do a ship design. Oh yeah, I need an admiral. All right, so ship design and an admiral. So fleet, fine leader, recruit, fire rate, speed, lifespan, and hull points, weapon damage. 48, 32, let's go with the youngin. All right, so we got that done. And <laughs> ship design, new design, Corvettes. I guess I'm not understanding why I can't click on these buttons over here. How do I get it to do something? Interface, you're not helping me here. Aha, I had to uncheck the auto generate. Alright, random name. Auto complete. Auto upgrade. Save. Good job. The ship design has been added to our database and can now be produced by a starbase that has been equipped with a shipyard. All right, now get rid of it. All right, at least now I know what the interface looks like. Uh, where was I? Holding off on him. Uh oh, got another dead end star right there. More unity. Uh-oh. The Ute Empire. Covered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Euroglia. Anomalous readings detected. <laughs> God, that's annoying. All right. Gained a level. Uh, uh, aliens call themselves the Ute and appear to have been very large and flat arthropod analogs. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Ute to travel aboard the same spaceship. Ah, uh, got one Sit thing in front of updated. another. Surveying routine. Go ahead and research. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, energy's getting pretty grim. I might have to actually set up a star base like down here in Dawkan, where I know I'm at a head anyway. Um, 20 influence or begin the habitable Scientific world survey. Progress attained. Sure. Updated. All right, so we finished research. We got the uh, monthly unity, additional edicts, campaigns is unlocked. Um, oh, 
with leader pool size. It's always good to have lots of leaders. Gain the level, gain the level. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking the uh, the energy problem here. So, can I do anything about that on Earth yet? Is enough time gone by? Hey, we did grow a pop. All right, so population, we're quite a ways, excuse me, quite a ways away from the next one. But we did unlock another building slot. Um, I got good amount of minerals, so let's, what are our options here? Actually, cancel that for a second. So if I want an energy district, or generator district, Gonna cost 300 minerals, 240 time. Generate two technician jobs that produce energy credits. All right, build that. And All right, gonna have to wait on that. Alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Farragon Illa, a science officer, or is that 3A? <laughs> I'm sorry, Farragon 3A. Uh, science officer Gang Luo, Luo and the crew Together of the UNS. Together we will build a brighter future. <laughs> Stop it. I thought I stopped you. Uh, discover what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We've prepared a special project to translate the text. All right, issues special project. Situation log updated. What's next? Um. Ooh, allow mega forges. That sounds fun. Minerals from miners plus ten percent. Um, let's get that base base upgrade. All right, science ships are still busy. Uh, three eighty three. What's it going to cost me to get that star base built down here? So construction ship seventy five influence and one hundred alloy. All right, do it. Let's get that going. I know I've got to expand down that way anyway, and we've got uh, some energy and a research project down there. Unity again? Construction finalized. Together we will build a brighter future. Alright, moving on. Uh, we'll do that in a second. All right, we got our physics bonus. Far out. That is where the frontiers of our domain now lie. Construction finalized. All right, energy credit bonus. Um, so we finished the star base. Now I don't have I don't have much in the way of. Uh, I'll wait, and then we'll uh, get some energy. Energy mines going. System resources analyzed. Uh oh. Special project? Oh, that's that one. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got points now. Get those going. Come on. Really need me some planets, please. Anomalous readings detected. Uh, routine. 
Re sure, research that. Gain the level. How did I miss this one? <laughs> huh. Uh Alright, I'll have to remember as soon as he finishes that to go check it. So this shows it's constructing. Oh, that industry that I built. All right. Ah, yeah. So it's that bar right there to show it's almost done building. Um, keep reduction or I, I don't know what administrative cap is really going to do for me. What what does it do? Thought it was one of these things. Uh, administrative cap thirty. Um, hmm. I don't think it's going to make a difference. We're going to take this one first, I guess. I'm not going to hit that other one anytime soon. Construction complete. Negative balance. Hey, we are losing energy credits all of a sudden. <laughs> all right. Uh, almost done researching that anomaly. Construction complete. So. I think what happened here is. Yeah, I did the civilian industries, so it pulled workers off of lower level jobs that were actually producing energy credits into a different strata, so now I'm losing energy because partially due to that. I've increased my upkeep of energy, lost workers that were generating it, that kind of thing. I'll get that kind of balanced stuff figured out here eventually. Junkyard. Uh, asteroid was evidently used as a junkyard by someone at some point in their distant past. All manner of anomalous readings detected. Why are you finding things while I'm trying to read while the game's paused? That's kind of annoying. Uh, slowly pulled into the jumble of debris that now covers the surface. There's nothing of particular value to be found here, but a lot of metal can be salvaged by mining or by a mining station. Um, add uh, three. All right. Sure, go ahead and research. We are losing credits at an alarming rate. Yes, Last I know. Last month's budget report makes for some grim reading. <laughs> I realize. Uh, we are working on that. And you're just surveying? Alright. Oops. me the market. Yes, I know about the market, thanks. We're at, we're at zero. We're getting there. We just got six points online down here. Alright, you. Are you coming over here to research this? Alright. Um... Ooh, trade value. All right, what's this place look like? Doesn't look like much. Oh, 
Oh, they wanted me to build three more Corvettes. All right. And then the blockers. Uh, sure. Shipyard. All right, three more Corvettes. And Earth. Gonna cost energy, I don't have. I doubt a lot of food though. And a lot of consumer goods. Alright, where's that market? Do, do markets. Consumer goods. Whoops. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, then back to Earth. Blockers. What do I want to get rid of? Max generator districts. Um, max agriculture and give specific algae tracks. And one human pop. Let's do the simple one. All right, amusement park. Okay. Society research gained 250. Engineering research gained 350. Ah, cool. I like that one. All right, what are you doing? Moving and investigating. Yet another impediment to our galactic ambitions has been dealt with. That tile blocker never stood a chance. Um, Construction bones. complete. I keep... <laughs> What's happening here, I've realized, is that it's popping a message up and pausing, then I'm tapping space to pause it, thinking I need to do so to read the message, which unpauses it, <laughs> and then things start happening. So, <laughs> I understand why that keeps popping up on me. Uh, another special Situation project. Log updated. All right, so mm. that should have finished off my fleet requirements. Um, blockers cleared. Good. We now have a small but capable space fleet that should serve us well in the event of any unexpected hostile encounters. Okay, so back to there. Uh, just the consumer goods one I'm still trying to figure out. Because it says here, plus 19, so I just don't understand what's going on here. Monthly consumer goods surplus to at least plus 6 per month. I'm wondering, I don't know, does it just mean make sure you have that when the term ends? And then it'll succeed and I'll get some kind of reward? I... I don't know how else I would know. <laughs> hmm. Hey there, Crystal Pepsi. Me too! Been looking forward to it for quite a while. Been waiting for that latest patch before I decided to finally dive in, so... This will be my getting used to the interface, figuring out the basics of how things work stream, and uh, depending on where we're at at the end of this one, I may continue it in another uh, stream, but I'll likely start up a brand new one with harder settings and more interesting uh, world setup, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, uh, what was I looking at? Not, not you. So I got everything done here, except for this new stuff, hmm, the alien stuff. Uh, research it. Can't do much about that. Or that. And still puzzled about that. Our research has progressed. Alright, so we got a mineral bonus. Um. And at build speed. Let's do the build speed. Alright, need to get the uh, construction ship working again. Um, still haven't found a planet I can really do much with. 
Right, let's grab the rest, last of that one. Ascension perk! Alright, what the hell is an ascension perk? This, this section? So you finish a grouping, a tradition group, and you get an ascension perk. Special bonuses that our empire can unlock by completing a tradition tree. The ascension perks list shows the ascension perks that we can potentially unlock. Some ascension perks may have special requirements, like technologies, or having a certain number of already unlocked ascension perk slots. Alright, got it. Uh, influence cost, claim influence cost, research speed, unity and ethics attraction, blocker cost, and unlocks decision mastery of nature. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I'm going to pick something relatively simple for me to understand the actual effects of. We'll just go with research for this first one. <laughs> hey there, Kodak! System resources analyzed. Alright, sensors pick up unexpected activity. Oh, so this is a new, uh... Is this a new one? Yeah, just a new one. All right. Sure, go ahead and research it. Hey, night sky. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Scientific progress attained. All right, time to check some more things. Has the Zoblar's done? Working on the anomaly. Alright, what do we got? It's another lifespan one, so pop growth speed. Off World Trading Company does what? Offices of non governmental organ dedicated to improving the conditions of interstellar trade. I like it. I'm gonna go with pop speed growth though. <laughs> For the moment, I got nobody to talk to or trade with. Alright, you are. Investigating the skeleton almost done. You're moving, right? Oh no, that's where I told him to stop. He's probably doing nothing. No, he's doing something. What are you doing? Oh, he's doing the uh, the, the anomaly. Special inquiry concluded. All right. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Don Dawkan 2C, science of officer Vivan Morthy has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash-landed on Dawkan 2C. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. So we got plus three research type of, what is that, physics and... I'll get these names down eventually. Physics and engineering. Or no, society and engineering. All right. That sounds really good. And the scientists gained 200 experience. Yeah, I'm not surprised you just gained a level. Level three. All right. Same place again. Yep, same place again. Um, I don't think I'm going to read every single one of these completely. The Exile. Um, Hmm. So, I'm a little confused. So, this particular planet, Frozen World, we know almost nothing about it.
So basically I'm going to get a free researcher if I don't do anything with the planet. Sure! Welcome back to the fold. So if I check... Technology? Or no, leaders. Leaders. Ah, the exile. 29 years old. Meticulous. Level 3 skill. Anomaly discovery chance. Alright, so I want to switch you out with somebody then. Um... Alright, how do I swap these two people? I want the person... No, I'll just leave him there for now. Alright, what are you doing now? Um... Oh, everybody's doing nothing right now? Alright, go here first. Survey, survey, survey. I need to know if those have uh, habitable planets sooner rather than later. And you finish that up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and push down to this one. So you get down here. Get a star base built. I need these two to uh, lock up the access to this area. And then I need that one. And that'll give me this whole section here to myself. So the quickest way there is, there is no quick way there. It's going to be one, two, three, four, no matter what I do. Yeah, it's going to be Alpha Centauri. Hopefully this uh, potentially habitable world in Alpha Centauri, size 17, is going to give me a place to settle. That would be nice. Speaking of which, what's it take to build a sh colony ship? 200, 200, 200. Plenty of those. Missing a lot of that, and plenty of that. Alright. So, I need alloy. Uh, let's go back to the markets. 